Okay, Bill Cassidy back again here, and we just finished up with doing all of the setup and configuration of our frame, WordPress framework, um, and now we're at the point where we can add content. Okay, so the first thing we really want to think about is the structure of our content, and this is going to be different for different niches and different people depending on what you want to accomplish with your website. Um, if you're just if this is just a simple lead generation website maybe you want to have just a one page uh, website uh, maybe you may, maybe if you're trying to sell something you want a sales page um, or if it's a blog or say an AdSense site where you're trying to make money from AdSense then maybe you want the blog maybe you want your blog to be your home page okay so it, if I head over here back into our settings again and under settings if I go to reading right here there would nor if we had any pages and posts <coughs> excuse me uh, published there will be something here that we could make those decisions, but it's it's not right now because we ha don't have anything. So I'm going to head over to another blog I have, um, and this this actually I'm just changing over a host right now, and I actually wanted to start over again and rebuild uh, a lot of the pages and posts, and I'm actually having a little bit of trouble re-importing uh, in WordPress the pages and posts. So I, I will get that taken care of, but for, but for right now. Uh, there's not a whole lot on here, but I just want to show you. Normally, when you set your blog up by default, it's going to have your latest posts are going to be on your blog page. That'll be your home page. So when somebody comes to something something dot com, if this is set, they're going to see all your blog posts, and your blog posts will be listed in reverse chronological order. So that means the last post that you made will be at the top, and you will have uh, all the ones that you made previous to that will will. Uh, be heading down in descending order based on the number right here that you have on there. So if, say if you had number eight like here, you would have your eight la last uh, posts on that page. Um, and then uh, I'll just mention this quickly. Uh, you know, I'll probably show you this as, at another point. But one of the things you can do is you can actually make certain blog posts sticky, and it's just basically a checkbox. And when you do that, that means that that post will show up at the top of your uh, blog page. Okay, so. Th that would be one way that you would do it. So another choice here that you have is you can make a static page your home page, and that's what I have here. And it, my choice here is the front page or, or home page being my newsletter. And this is basically like a little squeeze page. And right now, this is basically kind of uh, uh, telling people that I'm updating my blog because I'm in the middle of, of switching everything over right now. This is not really the best way to do it. What I have on there, but conceptually it, 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 it if I didn't have what I had written there and you'll see that in a second uh, that might make better sense for you because it is a squeeze page and that is something that you may want to have on your front page okay so your post page then you would have to actually go in under pages and make a new page okay and you could you know add your SEO and anything that you want to add in there but basically there's not a lot to do it's just a blank page and then when you check your post page here you will make that your whatever whatever that page was you will make that your post page and then all the posts that you do will end up on reverse chronological order on that page okay so so if you see here Billy likes newsletter is right here so this is basically a squeeze page and this is my home page so when you go to billylikes.com this is what you're going to land on okay these down here by the way are just our subfolders and and additional blogs and that's just so, the way that I have this structured uh, this is more of a personal site where I just put things that interest me up here and hopefully it interests everybody else and I visit this page because uh, or this site uh, for information about marketing and uh, things it interests me and like I said hopefully it interests you too and then I talk about some other things and whatever but it's more personal here and more eclectic than uh, the com dash critical which is more uh, which is what you're on now and that's uh, more uh, more internet marketing related 
Okay, so this is my home page, and then I have another page, which you just saw there, which is my blog page, and that is, let me go back with another one here, uh, Billy's Adventures in Digital Market. I have a couple of choices here. These are pages I've already made, but, you know, obviously my uh, disclaimer and privacy page aren't going to be uh, a pl good place to put bl all my blog posts, uh, and then this n newsletter here is my home page, so, so it can't be that, or else I would have this choice. So I choose uh, Billy's Adventures in Digital Marketing and that's just basically what this is called. Uh, somewhere I have that on here. Um, so basically what this is, is, is these would be my posts that I have and I only have a couple up here right now but I would have eight of them in reverse chronological order as I make these posts they're going to show up here. Okay, so th so that's basically I just wanted to sh uh, g get you an idea, uh, give you a couple ideas uh, on how to structure because and and you can change this is you can have a you can have your blog posts be on your on your on your uh, home page and then if you decide that you know maybe uh, maybe there's something that's really important maybe you have an offer. Um, then maybe you could make for a week or so you can make your home page a a sales page or a squeeze page um, but but it's really up to you and what your what, what your goals of your website are so um, you know what? I, I don't know that I'm giving you all the. Well, obviously, it's kind of hard to answer all those choices because I don't know what everybody's specific uh, situation is. I tried to give you an overview, so feel free to comment below. Um, let me or contact me. Let me know what questions you have about this, and I can be more specific about it. Um, but now would be so. But but to continue on. Now's the time we're going to start adding content, and the content you're going to add is either going to be a post or a page. Um, now, it, now, if you were doing posts, you would just come over here to post, and you would hit add new, and then this is going to bring up your uh, add new post page, where you can easily type in whatever's going on. Now, you give it a title, and you, you just start typing here. Uh, whatever, whatever, you know, about your blog. So say, for instance, you're a, you know, you just started a blog and maybe you have a flower shop or something. So maybe you just welcome everybody to your flower shop and tell them what you want to accomplish with the, with your blog. Uh, maybe subsequent posts may, you know, may talk about deals that you have. You know, you just got a big shipment of, you know, lilies in, and, and they're actually, they were over delivered. You have too many, so you have a sale one for it. Um, you know, maybe maybe it's a, it's a certain time of year when you want to be feeding your plants or doing something to your plants, trimming them back or whatever, so, uh, so you could provide useful information about that on this post. Okay, and this is where you would do it. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to fill in a title. You're going to start typing here. Uh, type all the information that you, that you want. Um, and depending on your plugins uh, that you have on your website, you would you would go and configure anything else that needed configuring like say for instance here this one does um, uh, SEO on page SEO so I might change this to allow my keywords uh, to be shown and I would type in keywords here and then that will go up into my meta tags along with the description and title I would add those on here also uh, maybe I do or I don't want sharing buttons on this I might make those choices uh, if you're doing a post you you always want to add in tags this is this is critical um, and then you want to also put it under the right category so if you had a flower shop maybe it would be deals or maybe it would be you know uh, training um, you know and all niches would be a little bit different and then when you're done with that you would go ahead and publish it and then you would have your first blog post and it would show up on whatever page you just chose on that other um, uh, on the general settings there okay so the next th so that's post so the next things that you would do is pay possibly pages okay so you would go to pages and you could go to add new and this will do basically the same thing uh, but this one will be slightly different and and this is also depending on your plugins that you have and also your theme now you may have different choices down here than you had on your 
on your blog post. Now see here, I can make squeeze pages with this, so I have this choice here that I didn't have before, and this is because of a plugin I have. Okay, now an another thing that's uh, important here is is the template I'm using under page attributes for this page so th because of the Socrates theme I'm using and and not all themes will have this ability I have the ability to add different make different types of pages now these magazine pages are what if I wanted to make a magazine uh, Type style page. This would have been a good place to uh, to choose this for my blog page, and then my blog posts will show up uh, in in a magazine layout on that page. Okay. Now I also have the ability to make different types of sales pages. Um, no sidebars would be basically just if you, if you went under layout there I could basically make a page with none of my sidebars showing up which which currently now has uh, I think an InstaMe ad in it and and my opt-in box a portfolio page allows me to uh, make uh, you know a portfolio of images or something like that um, I, and I don't really use that one too often I probably should use it more I guess um, and then, like I said, different types of sales pages and uh, different types of squeeze pages. Now, as I choose these, um, it, it changes my the, the settings that I have here that, of, of, of things that I can work with. And, the, the, and these are meta boxes. So uh, if, if I chose a, squ a squeeze page, I can just add in a squeeze page code here and make a, make a few choices. And it makes it very easy to set up those things. If I just want, say, a, a skinny sales page... Um, I can make those choices, and then I have different choices here, and then I also have one more uh, skinny, there's a new skinny one here. Then I can make either 500 or 700 uh, uh, pixel width uh, sales pages, uh, so that's pretty cool. So that kind of wraps up a little bit or uh, an overview of, of your WordPress uh, structure for pages and posts and the basics of adding a page and post and uh if if you stick with me for the next video we're actually going to do our first one so i'll see you there